Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Budihas, your online math teacher. In today's video, you will learn how to solve the number of permutation of n objects taken r at a time. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to correctly define a permutation and accurately solve word problems involving the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time. Let's start. Let's learn first the definition of a permutation. A permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a set when the order of arrangements matter. In other words, arrangement is important. For example, the set of three-digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 1, 2, and 3 is a set of permutations. If we are to find the three-digit numbers using the digits 1, 2, 3, the combinations or the permutations are 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. There are six three-digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 1, 2, and 3. And that is the number of permutations for 1, 2, 3. Permutation of n objects taken R at a time. It is an ordered arrangement of n objects taken R at a time where n is greater than or equal to R. There are two cases here when n is greater than r and n is equal to r. For example, in how many ways can you arrange 12 different books on a shelf that can hold only 6 books? In the given problem, n which is equal to 12 is the number of objects while r which is equal to 6 is the number of objects taken at a time. To solve this problem, we are going to use this formula. If n is greater than r, the formula is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. And if n is equal to r, the formula that we are going to use is the reduced formula, which is n factorial. Take note that whether n is equal to r, you can also use this formula. Now let's continue the problem. The, from the given problem, the value of n is 12 and the value of r is 6. Now, using the formula for the permutation of n objects taken r at a time, then substitute, we have 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 6 factorial. And 12 minus 6 is equal to 6, then just copy factorial. And 12 factorial, basically, that is 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But here, since we have 6 factorial as our denominator, we will stop at 6 factorial for the purpose of cancellation. And that is 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. We stop at 6 factorial because the denominator is 6 factorial. And 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial is just 1. And when you multiply it to the product here, the result is still the, sa the same because whatever the number that you've multiplied to 1, the answer is always the number itself. And now, this is cancel because that is just 1. Multiply 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. And that is equal to 665,280 ways. 
This is the total number of arrangement for 12 different books on a shelf that can hold only 6 books. Another example, evaluate permutation of 6 taken 3. Since n is greater than r, then we will be using this formula. Then substitute the necessary values. We have 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial. And 6 minus 3 is equal to 3, then just copy factorial. And now we have 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial. And again, 6 factorial, you're just going to multiply it decreasingly starting from 6. So we have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But since our denominator is 3 factorial, we will stop at 3 factorial for the purpose of cancellation. And the... Remaining numbers are 6 times 5 times 4. The product is equal to 120. Let's try some examples on how to find the number of permutations of n objects taken R at a time. Example number 1. In how many ways can you arrange 8 students in a photograph? Before I will continue, I want you to pause the video for a while and kindly solve it in your own, then compare your answer later. Take note that we need to determine the number of permutations of the 8 students. Our first step is identify the value of n and the value of r. There are 8 students, so the value of n is equal to 8. And all the students are to be arranged in the photograph at a time. So, the value of r is equal to 8 also. Second step, I substitute n and r into the formula. Since n is equal to r, we will be using the reduced formula which is n factorial. And that is permutation of n taken 8 is equal to 8 factorial. And 8 factorial, that is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The product is 40,320. Therefore, the 8 students can be arranged in 40,320 ways. Example number 2. A company has 12 members in its board of directors who will elect a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer among themselves. In how many ways can this be done? Before I will continue, I want you to pause the video for a while, then kindly solve it in your own, then compare your answer later. Take note that we need to determine the number of permutations of the 12 members in its board of directors who will elect a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. First, identify what is the value of N and R. There are 12 members in its board of directors. So the value of n is equal to 12. And among themselves, they are going to select a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Therefore, there are four positions that are going to be filled. That is why the value of r is equal to 4. Second, substitute the value of n and r into the formula. 
since n is greater than r, we use the full formula for the permutation of n objects taken r at a time, and that is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Now we have 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 4 factorial. And that is 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. 12 factorial divided by 8 factorial is equal to 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. We stop at 8 factorial because our denominator or the divisor is 8 factorial. And the purpose there is to cancel this because 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial is just 1. And when you multiply 1 to any number, the answer is always the number itself. So it will not change the result. The remaining is 12 times 11 times 10 times 9. And the product is equal to 11,880. Therefore, there are 11,880 ways. I'm done with my discussion for today. Now, I want you to answer these two problems and their individual practice. And please do comment your answers below so that I can check if your answers are correct. For number one, in how many ways can nine contestants in a beauty contest be ranked without ties? Second, a DJ has 13 songs in his playlist. If he is going to play only seven songs, in how many ways can this be arranged? So please comment your answers below so that I can check if your answers are correct. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.